that great big lion! And look at that tiny little mouse! I wonder if they're friends! <laughs> Let's tell the twins the story of the lion and the mouse. Yeah! yeah. The lion and the mouse. The lion Doing in my neighborhood. The lion grabbed the little mouse, held her up high. Please, sir, let me go. Let you go? Tell me why. Think you can help me? <laughs> You're a silly, silly, tiny little mouse. Okay, I'll set you free. Wow, you sure are brave. Oh, help me. Won't somebody help me? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The mouse heard a lion's roar and knew just what to do. She called her friends. They ran to the lion. Grab the rope and start to chew. I should never have laughed at you at all. Pigs disappear. 
appeared. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> Little pig, let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> oh. oh! No! Little pig, little pig, let me in. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Huh? The house of brick was sturdy and thick. It didn't blow away. Don't you worry, my piggy friends. We'll all be safe. The wolf climbed down the chimney, but the pigs lit a fire. You mean old wolf? Three little pigs Three little pigs Three little pigs Lived in the brick house <laughs> Ready for story time, little twins? Boy, 
Ice Melon Little Boy.
Hans Mark. Didn't you ever hear the story about the boy who cried wolf? No? Tell me! The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf, the boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. There was a boy who watched the sheep. He'd watch him walk and watch him sleep. He was so bored he made a plan. I need to find some action, man.
the door. Now she could find adventures galore. There's a caterpillar on that big mushroom. I wonder if he's nice or if he's rude. Hello, little Alice. You're here at last. I'm a wise caterpillar. Let's have a chat.
Goldilocks had eaten her fill of porridge, she was feeling full and wanted to rest her feet. Papa Bear's chair looked much too hard. Mama Bear's chair looked much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. But Goldie was too heavy for Baby Bear's chair, and so... So decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's bed was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. Just as Goldie fell asleep, the three bears returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge. Huggy and Buggy to tidy their room before going out to play. <laughs> Those kids. Do you know where they are? I think I saw them in the backyard. I'll go find them, Jen. Wow, it's so cool to look at all the little insects. Yeah, the ants are my favorite. My favorite is the grasshopper. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. And I think this might be a good time to tell it to you. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. The grasshoppers do cartwheels. And all they do is play while the ants work all day.
The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshoppers dance for fun. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! They never helped. They wished they had. And now they feel really bad. All they did was play while the ants worked all day. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The grasshoppers said with a grin, We'll never shirk our work again. And the ants all shout, Hooray! 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 <laughs> Can't do that. Said the policeman. You can't. 
can't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> and that was the story of the three little pigs. The three little pigs. The three little pigs. And that was the story of the three little pigs. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. <laughs> Silly piece. <laughs> the lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Mouse was creeping through the woods and woke a sleeping lion. Angrily, he grabbed that mouse. She was scared and crying. She said, If you let me go, I'll help you someday soon, you'll see. When you need me, I'll be there. You'll count on me. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Lion said, You tiny thing. What can you do for me? Tell you what, you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you! Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and... Because you're small If it weren't for you I would not be here at all says tortoise, Huggy. What's a tortoise? A tortoise is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story the turtle and the rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? <laughs> All right, then. One day, the hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise, and she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast. But the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad the day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow. You can't beat me. I can't. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. Stuck in glue The day of the big, big race The hare, she laughed Ho, ho, ho That old tortoise is slow, slow, slow I can't be beaten No, no, no The day of the big, big race Poor old tortoise, sure enough Moved so slow and huffed and puffed He was tired, but he was tough the day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead. I think I'll take a nap. She said. 
sit in a carrot patch She made a bed the day of the big, big race Snore the day of the big, big race. So old tortoise trudged along, whistling a happy song. He was slow, but he was strong. The day of the big, big race. I won't give up. No, no, no. His confidence began to grow. Come on, legs, let's go, go, go. The day of the big, big race Even when the hill was steep Still he climbed and still he creeped And still the hare was fast asleep The day of the big, big race Finally he passed the hare Fast asleep and unaware The finish line, I'm almost there The day of the big, big race Began to cheer and cheer and slowly toward as he drew near. The hare awoke and said, Oh dear, the day of the big, big race. The hare began to run and run. Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Hooray! The slow old tortoise won the day of the big, big race. The lesson here is plain to see Whether slow or fast you be If you work hard, you will succeed The day of the big, big race The day of the big, big race off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Billy the Middle ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity hippity hoppity up jumped the troll and he hollered out. Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered us up. Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll, I'm not very big, and you look very hungry. Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff is coming next, and he's much bigger and tastier than I am. Well, all right then. Be off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Billy the Biggie ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity hippity hoppity up jumped the troll and he hollered out. Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered us up. 
Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, yeah? Billy the Biggie, he lowered his horns and charged straight at the troll. And end over end over hill over glen and over the mountain that bad troll flew. Over the mountain that bad troll flew. And happily ever after lived upon that grassy bluff. Billy the Little and Billy the Middle. And Billy the Biggie. The Billy Goat's Gruff. And Billy the Biggie. Buggy, did you just take Huggy's apple? No. Hey, my apple's gone. It wasn't me. Well, Buggy, what's that? Um... Hmm. I think it might be a good time to tell you a story, Buggy. There was a boy who watched the sheep, the silliest boy you ever did see one sunny day. Who knows why? He thought for fun he'd tell a lie. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come! Hurry, hurry! Run, run, run! And up the hill, a farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick! I played for fun! The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. At half past ten, the silly boy cried wolf. wolf again. And up the hill, the farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. But that same day, at quarter past two, a big bad wolf came into view. Into the field, the wolf did creep to scare the boy and steal the sheep. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come! Hurry, hurry! Run, run, run! Wolf, wolf, it's not a game! Please come now! But no one came. The silly boy, he shook with fright. That wolf stole every sheep in sight. The little boy was very sad because he knew that he'd been bad. He decided there and then, I'll never ever lie again. The most important thing to do is always, always tell, tell the, the truth. truth. <laughs> Jack. 
so fum. I smell a boy by gosh by gum. That bad chime, he boomed and boomed, and Jack went flying out of that room. Back the way he come, he come, back the way he come. After Jack the giant chased, he chased Jack all over the place when suddenly, hip hip hooray! to snuggle in and close your eyes and I'll read you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She was going to Granny's far away. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She followed a path through the deep dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. Uh-huh. How do you do? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She said, My granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. She walked away, but the big bad wolf knew a faster way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The big bad wolf came to Granny's house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And poor old Granny was all alone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Granny, get in the cupboard. That bad wolf said, then he put on her clothes and jumped into bed. Dear, come over here. But the little girl knew something was weird. Uh-huh. 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 Granny, what great big ears you have. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Granny, what great big eyes you have. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Granny, what great big teeth you have. The wolf said, Better to eat you with. Uh-huh. came back.
Once there lived three grizzly bears in a house in the forest. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear sat down to eat their porridge. Ooh, much too hot, growled Papa bear. Let's go walk in the forest. That's when Goldilocks came by, found their house in the thicket. Knock, 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 no answer. So Goldie entered the kitchen. Mmm, smells good. She grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa bear's porridge way too hot. Mama bear's porridge way too cold. Baby bear's porridge just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room, she spied chairs of three different sizes. They looked quite inviting, so Goldie thought she'd try them. Papa Bear's chair way too hard. Mama Bear's chair way too soft. Baby Bear's chair just right, just right, just right. Just as Goldie settled in that chair, broke into pieces. Goldie went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed way too hard. Mama Bear's bed way too soft. Baby Bear's bed just right. Three bears came back home. Soon as they stepped in, they knew they were not alone. Someone's been eating my porridge. Growled Papa. Someone's been eating my porridge. Said Mama. Someone's been eating my porridge. Cried Baby. And they ate it all up. Ate it all up. They walked into the living room, and what do you think they noticed? <laughs> Someone's been sitting in my chair. Growled Papa. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Mama. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Cried Baby. And they broken it up, broken it up. Upstairs in their bedroom now. What do you think they noticed? <sighs> Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Growled Papa. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Mama. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Cried Baby. And they. Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, "Help!" Jumped out of bed and ran away with the clatter down the stairs and through the door. Goldie's gone forevermore. Our three bears, they scratched their heads, fixed the chair and made the beds and sat down to eat their porridge. And that. Story of the Three Bears.